The National Economy and E-Governance Bill is designed to enable the growth of digital economy and digital governance in Nigeria by improving the certainty of digital transactions, digital service delivery. At this forum, stakeholders reviewed the Digital Economy Bill and make recommendations to make it effective. Abia State Commissioner for Digital Economy, Science and Technology Development, David Carlo, describes the bill as a critical force in driving economic growth. What we have here is, is a new landscape, a new digital landscape coming on board, and this will facilitate aspects, all aspects of our lives. And so we need to have the reassurance that we can trust this digital landscape and we can interact in this digital landscape. And this bill will give us that trust, it will give us that reassurance that things are in place to protect us so we can do trade, we can do just everyday, everyday things in our life that we can conduct. Technical leader of the partnering agency, Jeffrey Wanlema, explains what the digital economy and e-governance bill is about. This will be a bill that will generally govern anything affecting digital space. So this will give us a, this will be like the cross of the digital space. So this will guide like your transactions, the signature, and then evidence and all. Where this engagement basically is encouraging us to have these things put in place to, to make the government more efficient. So if the government is more efficient and there is less corrupt practices within the space, you find that there will be more production. I think this bill will have a lot of impact on the digital space for, e for government, for the business sector and for individuals because uh, it, it now means that we can transact business with people across the world with uh, digital signatures and digital contracts. We can now engage um, with government without going, necessarily going to government offices. Um, most of the activities and engagement with government will now become online. And it means that the uh, process of doing business will get better. And it also means that opportunities for um, digital skills, skilled people to get more opportunities will increase. It's a necessary step because the implementation of this bill is going to be done by these people. They are the ones who are going to bear the brunt of whatever the bill entails when it's passed. So having them interact, they understand how it affects them. So by contributing to it, they are able to buy in easily to it. The bill, if passed into law, is expected to improve Nigeria's digital space, improve our economy, and make for efficient transactions. Nora Okafor, Arise News.